Eternal Radio Sounds to energize your faith What we do here is just the beginning New life is starting at every ending We are a part of the story unfolding This is the weight of the world we are holding This could be our day Music for your life with Eternal Radio. That was Man of Sorrows by Hillsong here on Eternal Radio. Thank you for tuning in to Brighter Day this morning. Uh, this is Stephen Merrick. It's great to have you along with us. There is a report today that says exorcisms around the world have been growing with the decline of Christianity. And the report is highlighting that some priests are so overwhelmed with requests for liberation from evil spirits that they are being forced to rebuke demons by telephone. Uh, at a week-long conference that kicked off at a Catholic university in Rome on Monday, more than 250 priests, theologians, psychologists and criminologists from 51 countries rang the alarm on the exploding demonic activity being fueled in part by access to the occult via the internet. And that has also been reported, interestingly, um, in the Daily Telegraph and the Christian Post. So it's quite interesting. We're not surprised, perhaps, that the Christian Post picked it up, but the Daily Telegraph have also picked this story up, which is, is really uh interesting that a mainstream newspaper is covering it father anthony barrett a british priest who is based in new york uh, said at the conference i think it's partly due to the internet which makes it referring to satanism so accessible films and television programs are a factor there is a fascination he says cardinal ernest simoni an Albanian who was tortured and imprisoned by the communist authorities and has performed frequent exorcisms after his release, said, the power of God has made it possible for priests to conduct deliverance prayers by telephone. So um, I, I know of people, uh, um, certainly yeah, Michael Cummins, who was a good, good friend of ours, as conducted exorcism by by telephone as well as visiting people he's prayed prayers of deliverance and and that has been quite successful by telephone uh, as well as going along and visiting people who perhaps needed a bit more support um in italy exorcists claim that in the last 10 years the number of people requesting ex exorcisms has tripled to 500,000 that's 500,000 people a year requesting exorcisms. What about the people that don't even know that they need that help? Um, it's a, a huge figure, really, isn't it? it it's, it's quite staggering. Um, according to the Telegraph, the Vatican is insisting that every Catholic diocese in the world must have a priest trained in, as an exorcist. In Italy, there are 300 exorcist priests alone, while hundreds more are located in other parts of the world. Um, according to the Catholic Church, to get rid of demons, priests are said to recite a Roman ritual exorcism, um, which was prepared by Pope Leo um, in 1884. The ritual calls on God, Christ, and all the saints to repulse attacks and deceits of the, the devil. We we know, of course, that we call on God in the name of Jesus. Uh, that's what we need to to do and plead plead the blood of Jesus in these things. Um, and uh, of course, there are reports that say demon possessed individuals are said to often develop supernatural strength and experience voice changes and speak in languages that they never studied. Uh, some like the de de depictions in Hollywood movies, such as the Rite. Most commonly, they speak Latin, Hebrew, and Aramaic. Father Pedro Barjon, a Spanish priest and past organizer of the unique annual exorcism conference, said, if you show them a holy object, um, such as a cross, 
they will go into shock and start yelling. So that's the, the story that, that exorcisms are on the rise. Um, it's also uh, um, a, an increase that people are using because there's such a demand now, mobile phones to, to pray for people. Uh, so re really quite interesting. When we were in Birmingham, Valma and I were called, not that we particularly looked for the, this type of ministry, but we found um, we were uh, in an area where there'd been a, a former uh, 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 psychiatric hospital, and a lot of people were very troubled in that area. And we found that lots of people were coming at the time for, for help. And the, the story about supernatural strength is, is an interesting one because just by way of testimony, um, the, there was a gentleman that came to us one night. He was a well-known local gentleman. He, he, he organized the security in all of the clubs around the Birmingham area. Uh, black belt in karate, uh, very fit, very strong, very capable man. And uh, he had found himself in some difficult positions where he'd woken up in the middle of the night with a, a rope around his, his neck in some strange places. And it, it got to the point where he was very, very frightened. He was frightened for his life, in fact. And he came for help. And on this particular evening, Valma and I began to, to pray over him. And I felt the Holy Spirit... Um, prompting me to to wait to wait to wait to wait and and i i couldn't understand um but i was obedient why the holy spirit was saying wait and and then after an hour or so um i i felt that i had the leave to lay hands on this man and pray for him in the name of jesus and that he would be delivered of, of this whole um, um horrible spirit that he had and um, he was indeed set free. That was the, the wonderful news, and, and he's never had any problems since. But he testified afterwards that he wanted to get up and kill me. He said, Stephen, he said, if I could have got out of that chair, I would have got up and killed you. He, he said, that's what I felt when you began to pray for me. But what happened was something held me in the chair. I couldn't move my arms or legs. Something held me in the chair when you first started to pray for me. And, you know, there, there is a supernatural strength that people have in these situations. And you do need to know what you're doing. And you, you must do this very, very carefully because as... Um, as has been explained in this article here, sometimes these individuals can have very, very uh, strong supernatural strength, way beyond that of normal human ab ability. But on the other hand, I, I wanted to share that testimony this morning from personal experience, because it does show us that if we move with God and we're, we're bold, and many people shy away from this sort of work, but, but actually if we want to see people come into the church and we want to um, show that, that God is all-powerful and we should be following God, then we need to stand up and show the power of God and demonstrate the power of God because what's attracting these people to to um, the Satanism and, and other things is that they're interested in the supernatural and all of these other uh, cults and religions and um, evil forces they are they are playing with they are moving in the supernatural on the wrong side but nonetheless they are moving in the supernatural so, so they are satisfying a need now i'm not saying that we in the church should you know get get all hocus pocus please don't misunderstand me but on the other hand what we need to do is to demonstrate the power of god and the word of god says after the preaching of the word there will be signs and wonders and we need to get back to laying hands on people we need to get back for praying for the sick we need to get back to praying for people to be delivered in these situations and stop being so frightened of what will people think of me if it doesn't work what will people think about it if if it is a little bit messy so that's just my take on all of this. It's an interesting story. If you've got any thoughts on it yourself, then please um, drop me a line at uh, info at eternalradio.org.uk and we would be glad to hear your thoughts on this matter. 
The preceding program was made possible by kind donations from the listeners to Eternal Radio, for which we are very grateful. It takes a great deal of time and resources to prepare, produce, record, and broadcast our programs to listeners in over 60 countries around the world. Our potential audience is much larger, and Eternal Radio can now be heard all around the world, online, on tablet, on smartphone, and on TV. If you would like to help us continue broadcasting sounds to energize your faith, together with the message of God's love for all mankind around the world, please prayerfully consider making a donation. From your mobile phone, simply text ELCM02, followed by your donation preference of £3, £5 or £10 to 70070. Thank you for listening. Eternal Radio, sounds to energize your faith. What we do here is just the beginning. New life is starting at every ending. We are a part of the story unfolding. This is the weight of the world we are holding. This could be our day. Music for your life with Eternal Radio. Music for your life with Eternal Radio. End Time Hour is broadcast only on Eternal Radio, along with a host of other unique and excellent programs. Now Eternal Radio is even easier to listen to. You can do this by simply visiting eternalradio.org.uk. That's eternalradio.org.uk and clicking on the Listen Now link. Alternatively, you can listen in on your phone by downloading the TuneIn app or Eternal Radio's very own dedicated apps for both Android and iPhone. It's also possible to tune in on a variety of other platforms including Amazon's Fire TV. Also, if you have any questions for me or for other Eternal Radio hosts, please email us at onairnow at eternalradio.org.uk That's onairnow at eternalradio.org.uk